Hi, I'm Julia Barrello. I'm a visual artist and I live in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I've been here for 30 years. I've also been an academic in that time, teaching at New Mexico State University. Started off as a jewelry and metalsmithing instructor and I eventually became department head. And right now we're in Devastali Hall, which is the new art building in Las Cruces at NMSU. And I've spent the last five, six years working on getting this building designed, built, and now implemented. I've recently retired from NMSU this summer, and so now I'm an emeritus professor. So probably one of my greatest influences was growing up in the Northwest and the sort of complexity and richness of the natural environment there. Um, the transition to New Mexico was pretty exciting for me. I first came here when I was 17 and really responded to the desert and the sort of clarity and the maybe reductive look of the desert. In so many ways, the sense of space and light are similar yet different between Washington and New Mexico, and I hold both of these places very near and dear in my heart. The work that I've done that has been most significant for me has followed a trajectory that started with being a jeweler and making body adornment. And it was always body adornment, which was about the human body as a physical um, being, not as a uh, making adornment to decorate the human body. The work I did that was most significant had to do with a series of pieces that were built off of the vascular system of the body, translated into brooches, which can then be worn on the body. So it started speaking to jewelry that was about really our physicality that was a non-gendered jewelry. It could be worn by anybody. We all have those similar vascular systems. Um, I then started moving on to working with x-ray film, and I was interested in it because it was a recycled material, it was difficult to get, and I found pretty quickly that I could dye it and alter the colors so I could start constructing these large wall scale pieces, large, um, let me say that again, I could start constructing large wall based pieces out of the x-ray film that would allow me to play with color and light and shadow and the forms, and it always spoke back to the human body because I was working with a material that was a photograph of the interior of a human body. They were both anonymous and they're also sort of similar in that we all share the sort of physical traits in terms of our bodies, though with variability. So my work eventually evolved to doing large-scale pieces that generally go in hospitals, medical centers, um, biotech research companies, and people are interested in this kind of work because it speaks to our bodies, it speaks to people as individuals, it seems very personal to a lot of viewers because they recognize the x-ray film, they recognize their experience as a person going through medical procedures, having their body sort of examined and looked at, discovering things they may not want to find, discovering things they do want to find, and then it's also based within this idea of um, the pieces are built around notions of being in the exterior world and experiencing the phenomenon of, of flocks of birds moving through space, leaves blowing through space, um, the sense that there's wind and there's movement and everything is dynamic and shifting, which holds true both for the world around us and ourselves as individuals.